Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I will show you how you can put a stepper motor into FSX using Moby Flight. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For the wiring, you're gonna take pins IN1 through pin IN4 with a jumper cable or wire into pins 2 through 6 on your Arduino. You can use any pins you want, but 2 through 6 are just the first 4, and I'm going to use those. Then you're going to take the minus, the 5 minus, and put that into ground. You're going to take the 12V plus and put that into 5 volt. Then you just plug in your stepper motor to this PCB that comes with the stepper motor. So I just opened Moby Flight. There's a video that Sebastian did from Moby Flight about how to start it up. Uh, I'll give you a link to that in the description below. So your first step is to go to Extras, click Settings, and then go to the Moby Flight Modules tab, and here is your Arduino. Uh, click here, add a device, and we're going to add a stepper. You can of course configure these to whatever you want, but we're just going to go 2 through 5, uh, just because, just for simplicity, and then click the little upload button. Okay, so go here, click OK, then Let's name this Stepper. Oh. So now we have our folder, I guess. And then click Edit. And then we're going to use General Vertical Speed. You can also go to Project Magenta uh, FSUIPC offsets and figure out which ones you want. But there's a lot of sorting and whatnot, so I like to search here first. So, vertical speed, press use, then we have this fancy formula. You can tweak that later if you want to mess with it. Uh, if you mess it up and press use, it'll fix. So, yeah, have fun with that. That's your transformation. So now we go to display, and you're going to use your Arduino module with your stepper motor. This is a, in fact a stepper motor. Uh, you could select if you had more, more than one. And so here are numbers you can play with if you want it to not step as much, I guess. And yeah. And you can click this if you want it to go all the way around and then uh, keep going. Then, right here, if we press test, we'll see that it is moving with the Arduino. And you can see the little lights right here that illuminate. Oh! What happened? Test. Now this is fun. You could just sit here all day, just feel cool. But instead, we're going to set that. You can also move it if, with this. Move it right here. But that's for calibration. We do not want compass mode for a vertical speed indicator, so I'll just uh, use, keep these for now. Uh, let's press active, save this, and run this on FSX. So right here, 
uh, is the FSU IPC status. Once FSX is up and running, it'll eventually get the little check mark. And uh, here's our modules that are attached. Make sure that you click the active button, otherwise it won't do much. Oh, and here's the FSU IPC status. So, we have FSX right here, go to free flight. Then just fly. Loading, 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 loading. This is the loading song. It is very long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's loading, 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 loading. Yeah! Well, this is loading. You can press run. And if you want it to always run when FSX is open, you can press the auto run button. And that'll make sure that you don't have to pop up movie flight in order to get it to work. Right here you'll see the vertical speed indicator. Just pretend there's up and there's down. Uh, just so you know, it's this instrument right here. So, let's see if it works. Oh. So far, we're good. <laughs> That's pretty accurate right now. So, that's up. Oh, dearie. Whee! That's one way of doing it. So it works. Uh, now you can calibrate it with uh, decrease this even more. I think that was too much, but oh, it's just it's for education, so we're good. Yeah, that shows how much. The stepper will work, you know? But wait, there's more! So right here we're in mode flight. Let's make a flaps output. So we're gonna edit. Uh, we're gonna use preset flaps retracted. Uh, now go to display and use your movie flight and then your it's a stepper motor and so we're going to use our only stepper motor so now you can press test and it works it's all configured right so now you can click that active and then click run so you can see that it's at one I guess it's at zero right there, and then you can go position one, position two, position three, and position four, and all the way down. But you can also see that it's actually not doing its job because it's backwards. So that's when you would go into edit, uh, and here. You would go, just go negative dollar sign. I think that would work. Uh, so, so now you can see that it's going the right way. Uh, just because I added a negative in front of the dollar sign, the dollar sign is, I guess, in a way, an X, like in algebra. So it's now the negative value. Um, Yeah, just ignore these lines. I drew them wrong. So if you wanted these to align with the lines, you could go uh, compare. And then, so whenever it says 1024, you can make it something less, like 1000. And then you could, whenever it's 2048, if you want it more, you could make it like 4000. 
then that can mess with the them. And then flaps forty. So right there you have your flaps gauge. November 704, Darling Below, contact Denver Departure on 121.5, squad 7600.